Hi, welcome to Unique CAD Design. In this video I will show the basic setting of AutoCAD. For best CAD draftman or designer, they should know these basic setting of CAD. In this video I will tell you best basic settings of AutoCAD, this video become too lengthy, because I have given you maximum detail about basic setting of AutoCAD, please watch this video till the end, 100% you will get maximum details. This is from Unique CAD Design, let's start the video. Click right button from your mouse, and select option. First one is file tab. Here we will find supporting file for CAD software. I will recommend it you to don't change any file path from these files. If the any one of these file link missed, you get file path missing notifications. Second will be display tab. In this first option is window elements. Here we can customize and controls display settings specific to the drawing environment. In windows element. Top one is color scheme. Here we can change AutoCAD workspace visible color mode into dark or light. Based on our comfort brightness level, we can change color scheme. Next one is display scroll bars in drawing window. Uncheck this. It will hide the scroll bars at the right and bottom sides of the drawing area. In CAD maximum workspace will reduce the pen command, zoom in and zoom out command while drafting. And our mouse scroll will do the same function of scroll bar. So I will recommend you to hide this, because it will covers the workspace. Use large buttons for toolbars. Resize ribbon icons to standard sizes. These are scales the small ribbon icons to large icons, when they do not match the standard icon sizes. And these two commands are not work in Windows 10. If you want to increase the icon, go to display setting and change display resolution. In the window we can notify that, we are getting tool tips when cursor move on commands, uncheck this. Now we are not getting any tool tips at the cursor. This will very helpful for beginners to know about the tools. Here maintain this value to zero. It is the initial delay time to display tool tips. Next show rollover tool tips. It controls the display of rollover tooltips when the cursor hovers over an object. Last one is display file tabs. It will hide and displays the file tabs at the window. File tab is a list of files which displays the now opened file name at top of drawing area. Colors tab. It displays the color options dialog box. Here we can change working environment interface element colors. Mainly we should change the display color to black. This the recommended color mode for CAD, it won't affect the RIs. From here we can change other element color also. From fonts tab. We can change the text style and height of command line window text. Second topic. Layout elements. It controls options for existing and new layouts. A layout is a paper space environment in which you can set up drawings for plotting and printing. In AutoCAD window this is model and layout tabs. Uncheck this. Model space and layout tabs will hide from windows. This tab will come to use while taking output, print out of created model. Next is all about layout tab. Display printable area. It displays the printable area in a layout. The printable area is represented by the area within the dashed line and is determined by the selected output device. Display paper background. It displays a representation of the specified paper size in a layout. The paper size and plot scale determine the size of the paper background. Display paper shadow. Displays a shadow around the paper background in layout. Show page setup manager for new layouts. 
displays the page setup manager the first time you click a layout tab. Use this dialog box to set options related to paper and plot settings. Create viewport in new layouts. It creates a single viewport automatically when you create a new layout. Cursor size. It determines the size of the cursor as a percentage of the screen size. I will recommend the people keep the cursor size maximum. Because it will very helpful in drawing editing stage. I hope these information will helps you lot. Please like this video, subscribe my channel for more useful tips on AutoCAD. And don't forget to click on bell icon to get my new video notification.